things. So I, I don't have any simple advice for parents except that they should be wary of uh, causal claims that are not supported by evidence. So if somebody comes along and they have a school which say adheres to a particular philosophy or which emphasizes a particular type of learning, it is fair to ask where is the evidence that supports your approach? Do elite schools add value to the students? Well, not as far as uh, we can tell in our study. We try to do a very careful job of estimating the equivalent of what you might get in a kind of social experiment if kids were randomly assigned to attend uh, different schools, I should say from the pool of applicants, that is high achieving kids. And our results don't show uh, much evidence of value added in terms of achievement. Uh, SAT scores, AP, which is a kind of college uh, preparatory classes in, in high school. Um, it really, and we looked at both at Boston and New York, and uh, we don't see much evidence of value added. So um, parents, of course, uh, would like to think that the kids get a better education when they go to those schools. Uh, many parents feel very strongly about it. and. Um, it's not crazy to think, though, to think so, but um, our results don't support that conclusion. That's not so good news for the elite schools. Well, I guess, uh, you know, I've met with the school leaders and explained our results to them. Um, they believe strongly in what they're doing. Um, some of them might say that we're not measuring the right things. Uh, and that's possible. There could be other outcomes uh, where the elite schools uh, generate benefits. It may be, for example, that you make connections that later on help you in the labor market. We're not measuring that. But it's certainly the case that most people, I think, are surprised by our findings and would have thought that the quality of education is better and that we should then be able to measure that in terms of higher test scores higher SAT scores, more AP classes, and we're not finding that. What are the benefits of the peer effect? Well, a peer effect is something that many social scientists believe is important. A peer effect is the idea that children who are exposed to other high achieving children will tend to learn more. There's this idea, we talk about this in our PhD program, you know, we, we're educators and teachers as well as researchers. And we say, well, the real reason you should come to MIT is not just that the teachers, that's us. The teachers are great, but also because the other students are great and you'll learn a lot from them. Maybe you'll learn more from them than from us. That's a peer effect. So that same idea is part of the exam school experience. If I go to Boston Latin School, I study with students who are much, much higher achieving than the students I would have encountered at any other school. And you might think that that would benefit me, but as it turns out, it doesn't. Personally, I believe that peer effects are often an illusion. That is, children who are in a high-achieving environment tend to do very well, but that's not because of a causal effect of being in that environment. It's because of how the selection mechanism of what brought them to that environment. They were already good kids in some sense. There are groups who benefit from the peer system. The peer effect. Well, in our study, there's a group for which it looks like there's a fairly strong positive result, and that is um, high school stu minority students in high school. So the one kind of fairly strong positive finding in the study on exam schools is um, non-white high school students seem to get uh, do uh, have much higher English scores. And, um, you know, I'm not exactly sure why that is. Uh, it could be a chance finding, but it is quite strong. Um, it's interesting in the Boston context because we always talk about race and racial achievement gaps. And historically, there's been a lot of controversy about preferential admissions for minorities. For a period of about 20 years, um, there were preferential admissions for minorities at the exam schools. They got rid of that. 
Part of the concern there was that marginal non-white applicants would not get much out of an exam school education anyway. Then there was an issue of fairness as well. Um, what's interesting is that our study suggests that marginal non-white applicants actually seem to benefit.